My lord! That is completely absurd! A human is in control of the Netherworld, you say? I know it's pathetic, but that's the truth. Mm-hmm. Totally pathetic. Why do all villains start to get all chatty about their secrets after they're defeated? Whose voice is that? It seems like it's echoing inside my head! Or is he just trying to make his defeat more meaningful by revealing the shocking news? That kind of behavior is unacceptable. As well as being a bit unsightly, if you ask me. Dasko doesn't feel good about this at all. His voice has a very malicious tone. Huh? It just sounds like a perverted old man's voice to me. Ouch. A perverted old man? Oh, you've made this old man very sad. You've earned the right to be called a pervert by sneaking around and peeping on us. Show yourself! How rude. I don't mind the girls, but I won't stand being insulted by some useless demon. Bastard. Who the hell are you? Shouldn't you introduce yourself first, Valva Torres? This man... How does he know who I am? Oh, but this might be a bit of a problem for me since I got rid of my name a long time ago. You got rid of your name? <laughs> your parents must have given you a really bad one. So, you're Mr. Nameless? That's kind of stupid. I didn't get rid of it because I didn't like it. I got rid of it because it was useless to me while I was being reborn. Getting rid of their name to be reborn? <laughs> That's a typical human thing to do to escape reality. It's the stereotypical mindset of a criminal. A criminal? <laughs> Good guess. Sure, many humans may view me as something like that, but I'm not a criminal. I was born to judge humanity's sins. You may call me Judge Nemo. A man who is... no one. Judge Nemo. Nemo means no one in Latin. This is the ruler of the human world, who monopolizes the fear energy and controls the netherworld. The ruler of the human world? Ugh, I've never seen this guy before in my life. You probably wouldn't even recognize the leader of your own country. Hey, sure, I don't remember his name, but I'd at least recognize his face. It's that guy with the greasy face. I've never heard of a ruler of the human world before. Ruling both the human world and the netherworld behind the scenes, without ever appearing in public. Ugh, he is pretty final boss-like, isn't he? Dusko feels defeated. So, Valvatoris. You've defeated the President in a world where violence equals justice. That means you're the top dog of the Netherworld. I heard you're trying to bring the sensibilities of Hades to the Netherworld and human world. That's right. Bravo! This is fantastic, Valvatores. That's exactly what I intend to do. What? Actually, my goal is to turn the other worlds into Hades, too. Hey, wait a second, old man. Why would the ruler of the human world want to bring Hades to his world? Why wouldn't I? Humans are garbage. Their very existence is a sin. I couldn't agree with you more. But doesn't that make you garbage, too? Didn't I tell you that I'm the judge? I'm not human anymore. I'm here to admonish and annihilate them. I'm only doing this in the useless demon's stead. I deserve your gratitude! Disco? Is this what your father is like? No! Disco wasn't created by someone like him! Besides, Disco was created to complete a very noble task. A noble task? Like what? What else are you supposed to do, other than become a final boss? That's, um, a secret? What do you say, Valvatores? Why don't we join forces, since we have the same goal in mind? 
Let's turn the worlds into Hades together. We can destroy everything. Shut up! My goal is not to destroy the universe. It is to discipline both humans and demons. Turning their worlds into Hades, I will re-educate humans and demons and return them both to what they're supposed to be. But the worlds are going to be like Hades after all, right? So what's the difference? Lout, Nemo wants to destroy the worlds, and our Lord wants to reform the worlds by transforming them into Hades. Although the worlds will become like Hades in either situation, their motives and purposes are completely different. That is correct! Hades is the place where you atone for your sins and train yourself to reform. But you speak of using Hades to destroy the worlds. I would never team up with a fool who holds such absurd ideas. Are you choosing to oppose me? Even if I stop the distribution of fear energy? Even if you know that you can never defeat me? Even if we don't have fear energy, I still have sardine energy! Plus, I don't seem to remember ever not being able to defeat you. <laughs> Isn't that a bit arrogant? Do you think you stand a chance against me just because you defeated Hugo? Okay, fine. Let's end this. The Netherworld will be annihilated, and it'll all be thanks to you, Valva Torres. That won't happen. I'll defeat you and save the Netherworld and Human World. Then I'll turn them into Hades! Jeez, you seriously aren't making any sense. Are you gonna save us or not? Okay, then come to the Human World. I'll try to break things down for you there so that you'll finally understand that you'll never defeat me. <laughs> Wait, Nemo! You will regret appearing before us here and acting like a final boss? Judge Nemo, for whom are you doing this? Final episode! Battle! Final boss! Versus Final Boss! Boy, shit just got real, didn't it? You thought that was the last chapter, didn't you? Well, some of you did. I knew a lot of you didn't. Because seven chapters for a Disguise game? Please. What you thinking, boy? Um, it surprised me a little bit too, but there's a, yeah, we're nowhere near done yet, and that was the main antagonist in the game, Judge Nemo, which I find weird. I don't know why they call him Judge, considering, I, he, he, I don't know, I, the, the name just doesn't make sense. Also... I can't help but think of that uh, movie from like the 80s, you know. Uh, I, I know most people think Finding Nemo when they hear that name, but I always think, first, I always think of uh, Nemo in Slumberland, that movie from like uh, the late 80s or early 90s. Because I'm old like that. Mm hmm. Anyway, I, I think he's pretty weird. I, I mean. For whatever reason, I think this guy games have great main characters, but lame ass villains. I mean, in the first game, it was ultimately it was uh, what was his name? Uh, Lamiel, Lamington, Lamington. That was it. You know, there was some asshole volcanist before then too, but uh, I, I don't remember much about them anyway. Uh, nowhere near as, you know, cool as Lahara was. And, well, like, Midboss was... Eh, he was alright. And then the second game, you had the false Xenon. Yeah, that that was cool. Uh, I remember a lot about him, don't you? And then in the third game, it ultimately was... Uh, that legendary here. Uh, what was his name? Arian? Arian, maybe? I, I really can't remember that that well. Uh, every time, pretty lame. 
And now we have this, uh, jerk off. I I'm sorry, uh, as, far as far as villains go, uh, you're gonna have to try a lot harder, Nipo Nietzsche. I mean, if you can make characters like, uh, Val the Torres, you have, uh, no excuse. Really. I I'm surprised I haven't seen more compelling villains at this point. Uh, maybe that's just me. Maybe some- maybe someone else liked the villains, but... Uh, like- like I said, they're not sticking out in my mind. At- like, at all. Hey, what about the office of the president? We defeated him, so I get to be the president now, right? No, you idiot. The current president is none other than my master, Lord Valvatores. What? Are you serious? So if I want the position, then I just have to take Valzi down, right? Okay, Desco is always on Big Sis's side. Desco will fight together with you! Fools! I am not your enemy! If you want the position, just take it! First come, first served! What? First come, first served? I won't have that! Sweet! I want to be the president! Warden Axel! You're still alive? Of course I am! I will never die, for I am Axel! No, I doubt that's the real reason. You're not making any sense at all, either. I bet he's another fake! A remaining A-virus! We must disinfect it! My blood is perfect for this. I can offer him a sip of it for a million health. Did you think that no one would notice that you just upped the price? Listen up! I'm not a fake! I am none other than the original Axel! My real mission was to dye this netherworld my colors! As the Dark Hero, I have traveled the various netherworlds, but when I arrived in my thousandth netherworld, I realized that the only netherworld I hadn't visited was the one belonging to Earth. However, what awaited me here were various nefarious Corrupterman traps. The Corrupterman feared my charismatic arrival, so they captured and confined me to Hades. From then on, I was literally in a living hell, but I never gave up. To reach the masses of this netherworld, I sucked up to the Corrupterman officials until I finally rose to the position of Warden. So what's the point of telling us all of that now? Why are you doing this? Because I had completely forgotten about it. Just let me finish. Forgotten about what? Your initial goal? Correct. To hide my initial motives, I became someone else and played up to the Corrupterment. But I got way too into it. My amazing acting skills had even tricked myself. It's not your amazing acting skills. You're just an idiot. Say what you want. After all these years of struggling, my efforts will finally be worth it. First come, first served. All right, it's decided then. You're the 62nd president of the Netherworld. All right! I know we've had a lot of ups and downs in the past, but as far as I'm concerned, it's all water under the bridge. Now, leave this place to me and go to the human world. Go on, get... I'll make sure to make this netherworld bleed my colors while you're away. Yahoo! Huh? So that was it? Really? Are you serious? You can't do that without my consent! This is my dream! Are you still talking about that? This isn't your dream, it's reality! No way! This is a dream! This can't be happening for reals! How could this be? Out of everyone, that idiot became the president! This world is doomed. It'll be fine. Besides, I thought Mr. Vampire was after something much more significant. I'm sure his mind is occupied with something more important than the position of president. Don't ever speak of our lord as if you understand who he is. That really pisses me off. You don't have to tell me. Usurping the regime was only the first milestone of our lord's path to supremacy. 
treating my father is only a milestone. How far do you plan on going? <laughs> That's a secret. Well, I'm looking forward to the day when that secret is revealed. Shut up. This doesn't even involve you in any way. I plan on getting rid of you sooner or later. Oh, I get it. This must be one of those dreams where I become the ruler of the human world. That must be it. We just have to defeat that gross old man, Captain Nemo or whatever, right? It's Judge Nemo, big sis. And you're calling the ruler of the human world, who is also controlling my father, a gross old man? I appreciate having someone like Fuka in our group. She's definitely good at setting the mood. <laughs> She's just an idiot. Although I suppose it's better than having her crying and whining all the time. Whatever the reason is, it's great that you're motivated to defeat that Judge Nemo person. Be prepared for it, lass. Sure thing! When I'm the ruler of the human world, I'm gonna turn all the idols in the world into my own personal frennies! Okay, everyone, let's get going! Earth. A parallel world that has reached the pinnacle of scientific technology. Humans, who dreamed of flying like birds, now control the borders of the sky. They have created artificial light and have forgotten their fear of the darkness. These days, the humans have even unraveled the mysteries of all of God's creatures by breaking them down to their individual strands of DNA. This is the human world? It's gone through quite a transformation. Ah! What is going on with the air? It smells terrible! They seem to have focused on developing environmental pollution, poisoning the very air they breathe. The pathetic creatures. Man, I miss this place so much! It feels so weird. I'm only in a dream, but it feels like I haven't been here in a while. You! Ugh, how can you stand this smell? Huh? What smell? Did you fart or something? This air brings back memories. Desco hasn't been here since she was thrown away. Thrown away? You must have been through a lot. I admire you for being so cheerful, even after everything you've been through. <laughs> But it's all Desco's fault for not being strong enough to be a final boss. Plus, afterwards, Desco was able to meet Big Sis and grow in strength, so Desco was lucky to be thrown down to Hades. Strength? I hope you're not already satisfied with your current power level. Definitely not! Until Desco becomes the most badass final boss and gains Big Sis's approval as a little sister, her battle isn't over! Good. That's what I like to hear. Your goal for now is to defeat Judge Nemo. That will help you become a final boss. Yes, Desco will keep learning. This is to become a magnificent final boss. What's the matter, Welp? Worried about your father? We won't force you to come along with us if you don't want to. So, are you insisting that he stay with his father and live happily ever after, Mr. Sundere? Don't call me that! Unfortunately, your assumption is incorrect. I'm just telling him to run away to his father, where he belongs, if he's scared. I'm not going back! Why not? Didn't you guys make up? We did! Father didn't mean to abandon me. Were you surprised, Demisel? Or rather, disappointed in me? Your father, the ruler of the Netherworld, became a slave to the humans. No, please. Well, I was definitely surprised. I knew the tricks that the Corruptor men were playing weren't like you, but I never would have imagined that humans were to blame. I'm sorry, Demisel. 
I've put you through so much. The harsh treatment I'd given you was to protect the Netherworld as the president. It was also to keep you away from here, away from the power of the human world. I know it sounds like I'm just making excuses now, but that was all I was able to do as your father. No, father. I'm the one who needs to apologize. Not only did I fail to meet your expectations, I didn't even realize all the problems you were bearing by yourself. I'm sorry. <laughs> You've grown so much, Emizel. You've learned much from Valva Torres. He's just a... I have to go now, Father. So you're leaving? Yes. The human world needs correcting if the Netherworld is ever going to return to normal. Balbatoras possesses a superior ability, but he still needs a lot of help when it comes to the details. Plus, I personally have something against that Nemo guy for what he's done to you and everyone else in the Netherworld. I understand. The Netherworld's future is in your hands, my son. Yes, Father. Once I finish this mission, I'm going to run for president. So, did your daddy praise you for being a good demon? Why do you care? Now, I have an even greater goal. To become the president. After we defeat Nemo and bring order back to both the human world and the netherworld, you better be ready for me, Axel. What was that? It felt like a chill of murderous intent just ran down my spine. It's got to be one of my hardcore fans, stalking me to kill me again. <laughs> my charisma is slowly spreading through this netherworld. It ain't easy being popular. Where are we? I'm not sure, but we're definitely in the human world. We were forcefully diverted here when the Dimension Guide attempted to connect with the human world. I'm assuming Judge Nemo interfered with the connection. As proof... Ah, I see he's well prepared to give us a warm welcome. Let's enjoy this opportunity to test the power of the human weapons which have controlled the netherworld for so long! Those are... what the hell are they doing here? Miss Fuka, do you know what they are? Yeah, they're almighty combat biosuits, codenamed Zodiac. They're super deadly suits of armor designed to withstand all kinds of extreme conditions. It multiplies its wearer's power 500 times. Even if kindergartners were wearing one, they could kill a normal demon instantly. No! I see a flicker of intelligence coming from Fuka's brain. Your shock is understandable, but you're being rude, Mr. Amizel. It's only natural for Big Sis to know. That's it for this conversation, they're coming! Everyone, get in position! So yeah, maybe... Uh, what's, what's a good... My, my idea of a good villain? Um... Well... When it comes to video games... I would have to say... You know, I'll have, to, I'll have to think about that for a little bit. Specifically in RPGs. Oh well. Um, oh, look at this. We're totally surrounded by a new unit, the combat suit. Um, which will be the unit we go over today. Um, they all have guns. And they're all on defense panels, which I'm definitely going to get rid of. Because they have no elemental this, um, weaknesses to take advantage of. So, I'm just going to let some, get some nice geo damage in there. There we go. Now, where the annoying part is, you're going to be seeing this new move deadly down under about 20,000 times. Simply because I did not know at the time 
how to skip individual attacks. You know what's cool? I usually, when I want to skip a battle animations, I would go to settings and then turn them to ally or enemy effects to off. But thankfully, uh, Iponichi added in, if you just hold R2, it will do the opposite of the current setting. So if you currently have it to show, if you hold R2, it'll skip everything. If you have it to skip and you hold R2, you can see individual attacks you really want to see. It's pretty nice. So I figure I'd, I guess I'm going for a giant wood golem to, but I, to see the giant angered tree, but the, the effects were really nice, cool. uh, as good as I thought. Well, the range wasn't, and the damage not even. I did not, I have not really leveled up my wood giant properly enough at this point. Anyway, let's go over quite possibly the worst class in the game, the battle suit. Battle suits make for an interesting enemies. They're not the easiest class to play and love, though battle suits have high health and overall great stats. They have a poor ability list that doesn't offer much love at all. The class required ability, Self Destruct, is so weak that it's pretty much an albatross around your neck. It takes up a slot that could go towards something much more powerful. And how? Uh, despite having such good hit, an axe is more effective for a battle suit than a gun, for most uses. The class has a high counter rate and enough health that you can take some hits throughout most of the game. As such, you want them closer to the front, getting beaten on and scoring free attacks in return. In addition, when self destruct does kick in, it would be better for the battle suit to be in the middle of your enemies rather than hanging back with your casters and healers. And this is the move you see all the time. Ugh. Brutal. That, that move is um, a horizontal row of three that can go either five or six spaces away. It's really annoying. Uh, when says uh, the, the limited release is the best ability of the lot, make sure to grab that one quickly. The SP drain won't be a factor in most episode maps. You can always take the ability off before going into item world where the attrition would be a bigger issue. Alright, so... How to unlock this class? Get this, it says warriors are a starting class. Yet another typo. Jesus Christ, that's... That's just too many. Uh, they have fortes and fists, guns, and axes. So, one more than most than, uh, people would, so... Uh, good for them, I guess. Although, I don't know which one technically is the best, and I don't know how many moves they learn for each. Um, they can move four spaces and throw five. Um, they are neutral to every element. That's good and bad. Um, yeah, they're ability, and this is why they blow, because that's what they literally do. They blow up, and the character is below 10% due to an attack. So if they... That means they are unsalvageable at less than 10% of their HP. They're going to explode. And, you know, you know, it's it's like the printy, but at least the printy has novelty and it's kind of funny. You know, you can, you know, you say, I'm using the printy, and, you know, they, they have a useless ability too, but come on, this is supposed to, this is the battle suit. When, when are you, this ability is beyond worthless. At least the printy can be used as a bomb if they really want. This ability doesn't help anybody. Alright, so that's it. That, that's the main reason why they suck. Although, admittedly, their aptitudes are not bad. In fact, they're quite decent. Which makes it all the more annoying. Because otherwise, I could probably really recommend these guys. For example, the Bio Suit has an HP apt of 110, 70, uh, SP 70, Attack 120, Defense 110, Intelligence 70, Res 80, Hit 130 and speed 100. Overall, those are pretty good. Several above 100. And in several uh, pretty important stats. Then we have the combat suit, power armor, the sword. Ready for me? I'm curious about that. The engage, and the force joker. Force joker has an HP aptitude of 135, SP 80, attack 145, right. defense 135, intelligence 80. Resistance 130, hit 155, and speed 125. 
So that's frustrating. Uh, m multiple aptitudes at the last level above 130. Um, and some even above 150. Great aptitudes, in fact. But that ability, man, it's Here so frustrating. I, 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 I really Here can't I recommend this class because of it. Not to mention, you're, by the time you're able to make these suits, you're going to have several classes Here I come. Um, already that you'll probably be favoring. Um, and with enough work, they'll be better than the battle suits, especially thanks to their ability. And if the only um, advantage they have is high aptitudes, that will eventually that can be remedied from the item from the character world. So uh, that that's the end of that argument. Of course, the rest of the abilities are limiter, re uh, limiter release, which adds 20% to all stats, but the character loses 10% of their SP every turn. Um, that that's somewhat useful. 20% in all stats is nice. Um, and if you heal after every uh, map, Take this. then you know that's that's fine. But like say in the item world where you'll spend most of your time, uh, it's probably more of a detriment if you plan on using your battle suit a lot, at least. <sighs> Excuse me. I mean you can't. You can't clear multiple stages by yourself with this ability. You're just going to run out of steam. Next, there's Rear Monitor, which turns around when receiving an attack from behind. An go. attack from behind? Um, oh, no, demon. And actually, oh, a order. very nice Thanks ability so for several oh. other classes, but not the battle suit itself. Ooh, that was his last attack. I don't think it's total domination. That's pretty nice. It's about time you saw it, isn't it? Nice range on that. I'm like, oh my god, Tyrant Flugued! Um, yeah, uh, so remember the ninja who has a 50% evasion when attacked from the front? Well, stick this ability on him, and his evasion will always be 50% because he will constantly turn to face um, his attacker. Um, that actually makes the ninja pretty not bad. Pretty not bad. Um, likewise, you could also say the armor knight, or the heavy knight, you know, uh, you can call them both, um, whose defense is 50% better when attacked from the front. You could stick that on him as well. You know, those kind of classes. Of course, I... I seem prone to yawning when I'm doing these recordings. It's not fair, man. God. And finally, yes, damage cut, which nullifies damage that is less than 10% of the maximum HP. Tell me, if you're taking less than 10% damage, why would you bother to waste an ability trying to block it? That's so minuscule. So it's just such wasted potential, man. Uh. Uh, aesthetically, if you ask me, I don't find them that appealing. I don't like these giant uh, uh, fish bulbs that they're in. Of course, it, it kind of reminds me of the EDF soldiers in the first game, which um, they, they literally looked like uh, ye old scuba divers with the giant brass helmet. Um, I, 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 I think those are lame. I, there's not much character. I mean. My, a lot of my favorite parts about the Disgaea characters are the, are the really cool facial expressions, and I think the eyes and the artwork is really cool. I don't remember the name of the artist, but I, I think he has some very distinctive work, and I think it's pretty cool. It's very hard finding um, character art on the internet and such. I'm kind of disappointed, considering there's some pretty cool character designs. Um, so yeah, I, I think this kind of class... Um, you know, just lacks that charm. I, I mean, uh, the, the base ability is just garbage. I mean, it, 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 which is unfortunate because they're they're they have pretty damn good uh, aptitudes actually. Here I come. And um, you know, they can use guns or axes as well. So. You know, they'll they'll get the job done, but I can't recommend it because I can think of so many classes. I'm like, maybe I'm just biased. If you feel like making one, go ahead. I mean, I recommended Prinnies after all. 
strategically, I didn't recommend them. I'm saying I couldn't blame you if you made one. I can blame you if you make a bio suit. I, I have told people before not to bother making them. But, again... Wow, I just killed my own Wiggle. I forgot his little... It took him an extra space to... Okay, I'm done talking. This, this match is over. Oh, Tyrant Fugu! Sorry I had to make you watch all that deadly down under. But you never want to see the rescuers again now. It's a movie, look it up. Hmm. I'm sure they would have easily beaten normal demons, but they're no danger to us! Desco wasn't about to lose to them. Desco used to play with them all the time. Huh? Played with them? What do you mean by that? When Desco lived in the lab, she play-tested with them many times. Play-test? Sounds like fun. Mm, it was pretty fun. We beat each other up until one of us stopped moving. <laughs> uh, oh, well, that sounds interesting. Does that mean... were you in that lab? Y yes So you did attack me, didn't you? N no it wasn't, Tesco! Please believe, Tesco, big sis! I wanna believe you, but... Then who was it? Who attacked me? Tesco doesn't know! Tesco is sorry! I have something to ask you, too. What do you know, lass? What do you mean? It's understandable that Desco, who was created by humans, has a connection with these murderous weapons. But it's rather suspicious for you to know so much about those biosuits when you have no knowledge of anything else. Well, I just know a little bit about my dad's work. So, could there be some relation between Miss Fuka's father and Miss Desco? Yeah, right! That's impossible! Are you trying to say that my dad created Desco? That's insane! Sis. Impossible or not, we'll find out eventually. But before that, we must get rid of the peeping Tom right here. I'm impressed, Valvatores. You sensed my presence. You must have sensitive skin. I would have sensed your filthy presence whether I wanted to or not. It's rather unpleasant. <laughs> That's really mean. <laughs> Welcome to Earth, the land of rotten chaos. I can't believe you guys came here. You really don't know who you're dealing with. The one who doesn't know who they're dealing with is you, you foolish human with the title of judge. Well, I was just testing you guys before. You wouldn't be worthy of an invitation if you had died. I'm a busy man. I don't want to waste unnecessary time or money. But you guys passed my test. I'm welcoming you here as official guests. Our budget is limitless for you now. Just follow the path and you'll be set. Guests are treated like gods here. We'll give you the best service possible. Huh? You drunk? Calm down, we're starting to lose you. Oh, you know, I'm like, well, I don't want to offend anyone out there, but basically, I'm missing a bolt or two up here. Ah, well, then you can't help it, I guess. Ah, I'm glad you understand. You're a good man, Valvatores. Big Sis? What? Please believe, Desco. Desco really didn't attack you. Okay, I get it. Let's just go. Big Sis? I wish I could believe her. But then, who was it that attacked me? Dad, what were you working on in your lab? Nothing makes sense anymore. <laughs>